guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my TTC videos I post every Wednesday, starting soon, just so you guys know. And today's video topic is going to be TTC tip number one that everybody tends to miss out on. A lot of women out there, when they are TTCing, they tend to skip a couple of tips because they just want to rush into trying to have their baby. But then they sit there and they wonder why things aren't happening and why it's taking so long. Now, all these tips and methods and advice that I'm giving you are from doctors and my counselors at my uh, clinic that I went to for the last two babies I miscarried. Um, they shared some very uh, good information with me and they helped me through a lot. Um, I conceived my second ba my second baby, sorry, my fourth baby uh, pretty fast actually. I thought it would take another four years. My third baby took me four years to conceive. Um, I wasn't thinking about it, but I, I don't know why it took four years, but it took four years. My first baby, my first baby I had, I was 19. My second baby, I was think 22 then paused for four years straight didn't have any any kind of luck and I started getting scared and worried that what if I'm never gonna get pregnant again what if I'm never gonna be a mother and what if I can't get pregnant at all you know then four years later I fell pregnant in 2014 then I that ended up into another miscarriage that was my third miscarriage we didn't know what caused the miscarriage it just didn't you know Register at the doctors that I went to didn't even you know think about what could cause it Then I got pregnant again in 2016 and That's when I learned um, After I lost that baby that I have a negative blood type so my steps for you are just What they've told me taught me and helped me throughout this um, journey that I'm going through right now Excuse my hair so, tip number one. This is exactly what I'm going through right now, and this is the beginning of my TTC journey. Um, I my I thought my TTC journey was going to be on pause. It's not on pause. We are starting from the very beginning. We are taking each step day by day, and we are going to be um, performing each step that is needed to actually get pregnant right away, have a healthier pregnancy, and making sure that this fifth pregnancy is not going to lead to a fifth miscarriage. So, TTC tip number one is getting a healthier you. A lot of women don't think about that. I mean, some women are not, some women are not going to be heavy set or thick. They're, they're going to probably be slim. But still, that doesn't mean you're healthy when you're skinny. So they don't think about getting healthy. Um, a lot of, of the heavy set women, um, they don't think about losing weight to better their chances to make sure the baby's going to be okay. Um, I have been heavy set my whole life. Now, I got pregnant with the last, all, well, all my babies heavy. But I had lost a lot of weight between the, the third and fourth baby. And I've been going up and down with my weight for a long time. Um, I think it was after my, or was it during? No, it was after my, I lost my third baby, I became vegetarian. Um, with, being vegetarian was a challenge when I got pregnant with my fourth baby because I was craving meat. I haven't eaten meat in almost a year, and I was craving that. And I was getting sick if I didn't eat it. So, I had to eat it. And trust me, it was the hardest thing to do because it hurt my stomach, but it tastes so good. But, I lost weight while being a vegetarian. So that has helped me. Now I'm going into two years of being a vegetarian. And it will be two years in June. June's... I have it written down. I think it's like June 20th or something like that. It'll make two years I've been vegetarian. I will not change the fact that I'm vegetarian 
and I will make a whole totally new video on why I'm vegetarian. That's not topic right now. We're talking about TDC tip number one. And so the first step that we're taking in this journey, me and my husband both, are actually going to be healthy. We're going to clean out our bodies all over again. We are drinking more green teas. We're doing more health health um, smoothies, protein smoothies. Um, I do my like vegan, vegetarian health smoothies, protein smoothies. I do not get my protein from meat. I get my protein from veggies, fruits, Greek yogurts, and things like that. Excuse me. Uh, and flax seeds. And just, you know, you'll find pro and peanut butter. Peanut butter. You'll find protein in a lot of things that people think only protein comes from meat. So, not only am I eating better, not only am I drinking better, not only am I going to be working out, I have a couple of friends that I hung out with today. We had lunch together and we talked about losing weight and getting into shape and feeling better about ourselves. And we are deciding that we're going to be hitting the gym here soon again. Um, it's going to... I don't know when we're gonna do this because we all have really really bad work schedules I have been considering talking to my manager and seeing if I want to switch my shifts at work because it, it I think it'll work better for me to lose weight if I work during the day and I have more time to do my videos because I'll be home more with my other schedule that I have now has been a little bit difficult and in the way to do these things but I'm gonna make it work also um, you before you uh, this is what my counselor my guidance counselor at my birthing clinic and my um, doctors and nurses have told me several times not only do I have this uh, book here my niece gave me this because she has two beautiful children I hope this is not backwards for you guys. It shouldn't be. But this book has lots of um, steps and stuff to get you ready in your mind, mentally, and physically before you have your first child. And this book is everything's marked for me. She marked everything for me. Thank you, Chrissy. Love you. And I'm going to be reading this. This is my new mission to read before I conceive my fifth child. Because I want to make sure that I know a good bit in my mind and be not only physically ready but mentally ready as well I feel like I'm mentally ready but you'd be surprised I'm not always mentally ready so I have this book I'm going to be reading this book a lot of women that I know have this book one of the ladies that I am in a TTC group with she also has this book as well and oh and speaking of that make sure you you put yourself in a TTC group because it makes you feel like you're not alone and it helps you and that's why I'm doing these videos for you women that are going through a lot like me it's really not easy um I call it the group that I'm in I met this lady through a different group well she's not a lady she's really my age I think she's like 20 like like I'm gonna be 30 but <laughs> we're on the same group we're both gonna be 30 yeah she's 29 sorry and we both talk to each other we video chat we help each other we're both going through this journey together we video chat each other at almost every day we text each other, we show each other what we've eaten a day, we're going to be weighing ourselves and telling each other how much we weigh, how much we've lost, to help each other in those steps. Now, she's going through a different type of TTC right now because she's got to get a procedure done for her. I don't want to get too much detail, it's her business. So, I'm going to be helping her deal with whatever she's going through because she needs support. So, I'm going to be there for her just like she's there for me because we understand each other. So, like I said, get this book. I don't know where they sell this, but I'm pretty sure clinics. The, um, my niece got her books in the clinic. But anyway, um, find groups, be there for each other. It, it's great. And another thing is, most importantly, this is definitely what my doctors have talked about. And I completely, completely understand them. And I've been doing it now for... I think... Um, almost a year or a year I don't know something like that but it was kind of an on and off thing my doctor told me to not take myself off of the prenatal pills that I was taking when I was pregnant she said that it would be best if I stay on them considering it's better for me 
and that my body needs to get used to the fact that I'm taking prenatal pills so that when I become pregnant, I have all the vitamins and all the nutrients and everything that I need for when I become pregnant. And then my body is going to be used to taking that. So I have been taking prenatal pills now for, like I said, almost a year or about a year. It's very important for you to take your prenatal pills before you get pregnant, at least six months before you become pregnant or before you think about even trying because your body doesn't know what's going in your body. And a lot of women don't realize that when you take prenatal pills, it makes you nauseous. You're gonna, not nauseous, you're gonna throw up. So the best way to take your prenatal pills, I'm gonna give you my method that I do. I wake up in the morning, do my routine, whatever. Eat my breakfast, drink my coffee, drink whatever drink I'm gonna have. That's already in my system. Give me about 15, 20 minutes later, I'm going to take my prenatal pills. Because I have food sitting in my stomach, it's not going to make me nauseous. I'm not going to throw up those prenatal pills. So, the prenatal pills that I take are the one-a-day prenatals. I love that brand. It has two different separate pills. You have your... I already made a video about the pills that I take. Excuse me. Whew. You have your regular prenatal pill, and then you have this clear... <clears throat> excuse me clear little yellow tablet like it's, it looks like a vitamin uh, E pill and it is folic acid ADHD and something else ADHD oh my god <laughs> well it, it, I'll, sh I'll put a picture in here so you guys can see I'll probably put it up here or up here but I'll show you the vitamins that I do take and it has stuff that's in there for your baby's brain and eye development and when I was taking those prenatal pills with the last baby I've noticed a difference in my child's growth my child's shape of in the head and the development of the eyes and the brain and the heart like everything looked amazing and clear on the ultrasound like you can see the heart you can see everything like it was just perfect yes I may have miscarried the baby but that's a whole totally different reason but just seeing the different prenatal pills I took with each child, I prefer this prenatal pill better than the one I took with my third baby. So I'll always stick with one a day, one one a day prenatal uh, vitamins. And I also take I forgot the name of it, but it's a cranberry vitamin that helps prevent you from ever getting a UTI infection. It protects your bladder, and I recommend taking that because you're more prone to getting UTIs when you're pregnant. The thing is, it says on the back of the bag to ask your doctor if it's safe to take while pregnant and taking your prenatal pills. But since, since I am not pregnant, I do take both now. But when I do become pregnant, I'm going to definitely ask my doctor because each pregnancy that I had, I end up getting a UTI infection. So it's best for you to ask your doctor if you can take those to protect you through your pregnancy. That's just something I take every day, and I, I really enjoy it, and I don't see myself ever getting off those vitamins. So, with that said, with what I do for the my TTC tip, work out, eat healthy, clean your body out before you even trying to have your next baby, take your prenatal pills, prepare your body for what's going to happen. Do not jump. Do not jump into just beating and get pregnant, because... You never know. You can have complications. Or you can just have a tough time getting pregnant. And you don't want that to happen to you. You want everything to be as healthy as possible. And think about your child. Think about how your body is going to be and your child's going to be inside of you. So you might want to think hard before you, you know, jump into BD. Step by step, okay? Step by step, guys. So, I hope this helped you. And just be ready for step number two that I'm going to be recording here soon. So, with that said, um, I think that's about it. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for watching. And uh, please subscribe and leave your comments below. And um, I will see you guys uh, next Wednesday or the Wednesday before that. Who knows? But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this helps you a lot to understand. Alright, and you're not alone, just remember that. We're all together and we're all in this together. Thank you.